Hello, hello, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. Today we're gonna to be sharing some of the new products that Spellbinders has come out with. These are some better press products. We've got the Every Occasion Florals, and this is the letter C. It You could use it by itself, or you can put it together and make the word congratulations. I also have the E and the W. What makes these so great is that not only can they be used on the better press, but they can be foiled. So if you have your hot foil system, these work really well with that also. The E says, um, thanks for everything. And the W says, with sympathy. So what we're gonna do is we are going to show you some watercoloring techniques with these uh, and we'll get those pressed. We're also gonna be using the Essential Modern Ovals. And then I have a 25 pack of cotton card panels in porcelain. I went ahead and bought the big pack because I knew I would use those quite frequently. So I've cut one of those panels down into, well, four total, but I'm only gonna be use, using three. A2 size card fronts. So those measure four and a quarter by five and a half inches. We're gonna be bringing in some Distress Spray Stains. Those are the Bundled Sage and the Twisted Citron. And I figured I would make my backgrounds first and then I would press onto them. And my suggestion is to pick light colors when you're going to press on top of a background like this. Otherwise, those presses can get lost. And since there are no dyes with this one, it's just pressing right onto it. So here's the better press system. It came with a clear plate and we also have this piece. I'm gonna bring in the W first and you'll notice it says A2 and A7 on there. So that makes it really easy to line things up. Hindsight, I really wish I would have just stuck these in the middle of the A2, but I decided to push it all the way um, on here. It looks like it's I'm pushing it all the way to the right, but when it presses, it'll be pushed all the way to the left. Uh, and so what's neat about these is that the with sympathy, it it butts right into the end of that W, and you'll know that with each one of those letters, they have a, a place where you are to put it in there just perfectly. I'm gonna use a little bit of mint tape, and we're gonna fold that in half and just put that on the back to hold our paper in place. I don't really love the tape that came with my Better Press system, so I like to use my mint tape. It's basically like post-it tape. And then I have the black ink that came with my better press system. I'm gonna use this. I don't have any other colors. I've definitely wanted to delve into that, but I haven't quite done it yet. I think because I know I can foil with these, I'm content enough. So we'll run this through our Spellbinders Platinum 6. Those are meant to go together. And then I'll pull off that top piece and you can see what it did. Not only does it press the color on there, but it presses into the paper and it gives this beautiful pressed image. So we're going to set that off to the side and I'm gonna clean off my plate. A Couple different ways that you could do it. You can use some 90% isopropyl alcohol. I'm gonna use some Stazon cleaner. I think that works just fine too. I have both and I've tried both and they work fine. So it will clean off the background and it'll also clean off your plates a little bit. So, and then you can move on to your next project. I'm not gonna show you the pressing of the C or the E, but this is what they look like all done. I really think those are so cool. And I love that I have the C since my name is Cassie, I can make monogrammed cards without the you know, word congratulations. So we are gonna watercolor these. It's kind of an underpainting in there and I have sped this up eight times. Clearly I don't paint that quickly, but since it's really the same thing over and over again, uh, I'm using Distress Spray Stains to paint with. We have the color Mustard Seed there first. And I do end up using two other colors for the other two. I've, I use um, Prize Ribbon on the C and I use Worn Lipstick on the E. For all of our uh, leaves, we're gonna use that Twisted Citron. And then for the centers of these flowers, I am using that Worn Lipstick. But I do love the look of it. It gives this really, it, the Mustard seed picks up just a tiny bit of that splattery background, but it also still leaves some of that. So it gives this like textured bit. It's so pretty. It looks even prettier in person. So I'm gonna watercolor all the rest of those. And now I'm gonna die cut out the ovals on the C and the E. I didn't do it on the W. The ovals weren't quite big enough for that. So we're just gonna trim that down to be four inches by five and a quarter. So we can have a nice white border on that one. And yes, 
uh, Miles has decided to infiltrate my desk. So we're working around him. I don't like to move him too much. I love it when they come spend time with me. So I'm not going to move him unless he moves himself. All right, so we're going to go ahead and glue this down to an A2 size card base. Again, that was eight inches or eight inches by five and a half or eight and a half inches by five and a half inches and scored at four and a quarter. My goodness, words are hard today. We're going to go ahead and take some of those leftover scraps that we had and we're going to embellish these ovaled ones because I just really didn't want to throw out all those splat, the splattery goodness. So we're going to put a chunk on the inside of the W, the E, and the C. We'll just trim them down a little bit so they don't go all the way across. But then I decide to take two really skinny ones and put those on the front under the E and under the C. So we'll attach this down to the front of our card base. I just think that looks like fun. I think these would be really cool on a four bar as well. So lots of options. The whole alphabet is out there. I'll have them linked down below so you can check them out and um, check out which ones might be your favorite. But I love that I have the, the C for sure. All right, and those are the cards. I didn't embellish them anymore. I think these turned out really fun. Uh, so if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And as always, I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.